I'd like to show you something. This is Alaska. There's a town called Homer, Alaska. They put forth a resolution to allow illegal immigrants to come into their town. People went batshit. They threatened to fight this tooth and nail. Now, where is Alaska? It's right up here. Where are most of the immigrants that they're worried about coming from, coming from? Well, there's Alaska. And right down here is Mexico. <laughs> they're half the globe away. I was a young boy that had big plans. Now I'm just another shitty old man. Hi, and welcome to another episode of John Sequitur. Today I'm going to talk about something really, really bizarre that doesn't make any sense, and my, my assistant Garrett is going to help me a little bit here. We're going to talk about borders, not about immigration much, mostly just borders. Let me ask you something. Can I see that real quick? Why is this shaped like this? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know either. Who knows? This is Illinois. Somebody drew this. Somebody decided it was going to look like this. Anything outside of this area is not Illinois. Next. This one. This makes no sense. Look at this. They had it, and then they're like, wait, 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 wait. Add this little, there we go. Yep. Now, some of these might be because of geographical reasons, you know. Maybe the ocean's there. Maybe that's the way the land built. But this... What is this? And why is this? Next. Oh, so close to something that resembles an actual shape. But not quite. Next. This one's even closer. See, from here, you got a box. It makes sense. But then you add this little thing here. And this is, I think because the ocean's there, if I'm right. Maybe Mexico, but I think it might be just the ocean. Next. Nevada. Again. You had it. And then you didn't. Next. What the fuck? Next. This is pretty close. Actually, let me see this one too, Bob. These two are really close. You gotta decide. Which one do you think is closer? Wyoming or Colorado? Colorado. You think it's Colorado? Yeah. It's close. I'm not sure which one looks more like a box, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna agree with you and say Colorado. At least rectangle, right? Yeah. I mean, it's at least a rectangle. Now, let me show you something else. This is the globe. This is where we all live. This is Africa. This is Asia. That's Europe. That's North America. Yes, that. That's North America. But what's this? That's not a state. And neither's that. What the hell is happening? Well, we all live on the same planet, it turns out, and we all have land that's all connected, mostly by the fake North Pole where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> no, 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 he totally lives there, trust me. Without the borders, we pretty much just have a ball where people live. Now, here's a problem. If you're born here, your life probably sucks. There's a good chance it sucks. You might not know it sucks because you don't know anything else. But, if you're born here, you know it sucks to be born there. However, we are lucky we were born here. It's not what they say is privilege, but we did get lucky to be born here. Now, a lot of people who are here or here, they want to go here. Look how expansive the world is. But you know what? This is where all the good shit is, right here. And everybody wants it. But the people who were born here, it's theirs, right? Tough luck, schmuck. So when was the final draft of the current continental United States, like, finalized? Well, it's a little weird. 
On May 26, 1977, several parcels were exchanged between Texas and Mexico along the Rio Grande in areas near Presido and Hidalgo, Texas, including the Hoare Contract, on which the town of Rio, Rio Rico was located, and Beaver Island near Roma, Texas. In addition, Mexico ceded 823 acres to the U.S., while the U.S. seceded seceded, ceded 2,177 acres to Mexico, primarily to strengthen sections of the Rio Grande for flood control. That is the last adjustment made to the continental United States. Now, on May 25th, 1977, you might have lived in Mexico. On May 26th, you now live in Texas. And if you lived in Texas, you might now live in Mexico. Are they illegal immigrants? No. Well... I don't actually know, Bob, but maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And here's another question for you. If the two states, you know, right here, there's a border right here. You're driving your car. It's not going to be a good ending for you, but it might get worse. I don't actually know the answer to this question. You're driving a car right along the border of uh, Texas, and you hit somebody, and you drive them into New Mexico across the border. Now you hit them in Texas. They died in New Mexico. Are you guilty in two states? Are you guilty of transporting a corpse to a different state? Are you guilty of committing an out-of-state crime? I don't know. It just depends on where they mark the random borders that they drew randomly with a marker. Now, borders aren't always drawn randomly. Sometimes it's uh, two countries coming together and making a decision together. Other times it's one country killing as many people as they can until they get the country they want. No. And, yeah, as well, you'll find out. And then sometimes it's just geographical features. It's not always decided by, you know, murder. So, that's it. That's all I got for you. That's borders for you. Does it make any goddamn sense? Does this make any sense yes. at all? No! This does not make any sense. See you later.